how are you feeling today to be in Beirut? I'm very excited. Yeah. It's, um, I've never been here before, so yeah, this is really exciting for me. What are some first impressions you've had so far? Um, it, everyone's really friendly. It's a beautiful place. Uh, I went to the museum today, which was really fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's a shame it's such a short trip. Yeah, I'd like to stay for longer. Maybe you'll come back next time? Yes, I hope so. Inshallah. <laughs>
uh, making people happy. So you know, when I've when I've performed and people say, you know, thank you so much for that, you know, that moved me or whatever, um, that makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I've done my job. Um, but yeah, I love performing, and also there's the unexpected. You know, especially with improvised music, you don't know what's going to happen. It could go terribly wrong, or it could just be, you know, amazing, heavenly. You know. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, don't want to talk about it. It's not my. It wasn't my fault. But yeah, um, the musicians they weren't prepared, and um, it was like an anxiety dream. <laughs> but yes, um, <laughs> it was okay. The thing is, the audience didn't know. Um, it was just the musicians. They knew that it was going wrong. <laughs> but hey, you know. That's, that's what happens sometimes. Okay, well, um, just a few months ago, um, I played at the Barbican in London, um, and um, I was asked to put together um, a, a, a show where I invited some um, uh, artists that I found really inspiring. So um, I invited Rabi Abu Khalil, the oud player, um, and um, Amel Mathluthi, who is a Tunisian um, singer. And so we all got to perform on stage with my band and a string section, and that was just so beautiful. Yeah, so I think that was that's one of my favorites, one of my highlights. I do prefer playing with a band because you have other people to um, react to and communicate with. Playing solo is, is nice, it's fun and I don't have anyone to rely on which is good, I just have myself but um, it can be lonely so I definitely prefer a band. I practiced at home. <laughs> um, um, I have lots of different backing tracks that I've created, um, mainly as a result from COVID, because you know we weren't allowed to perform. So I had to. Um, I I was asked to do some solo sets on um, a boiler room TV um, and some other like very small concerts. So it made me. Um, try to find a way of how I can bring my music to you know my audience but in a smaller kind of confined set so um, yeah so it's been a lot of um, um, figuring out how to um, record pre-record and make tracks make backing tracks and how I can use my electronics to make just one person sound like many you know thousands or whatever <laughs> Well, I just hope that people enjoy it and have a good time and maybe hear something they haven't heard before. Um, yeah, yeah. So I've been listening to quite a bit of, um, yeah, Rabi Abu Khalil as well, because I just love him. Um, I've been listening to Moonchild, um, <laughs> which is a band based in LA. <laughs> um, Oh, just so many things, yeah. Lots of different random things. That's a really good question. <laughs> um, I think I'll never be happy, that's the thing. I mean, I can be satisfied, you know, I can say to myself, okay, that went really well. Um, but, you know, and then I say to myself, oh, but how can, I, how can I do better? How can I get to this next level? So I think I'll never be satisfied, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing, um, you know, I'm a perfectionist and, you know, most people are, I think, if they care about their work, so.